Our friend Dorothy is playing in the field with her cute little puppy Toto. Aunt Em and Uncle Henry look very happy. The Wizard of Oz Dorothy lived in a village in Kansas, and one day, a big tornado landed on her village. Let's get out of here! We could all be blown away! Hurry up! Dorothy, let's go to the basement! Hurry, hurry! Wait! Toto! Where's Toto? Toto! Toto! Aunt Em and Uncle Henry got very scared and ran away. But Dorothy went into the house to look for Toto. Dorothy found Toto all curled up under the bed. When the strong tornado lifted up the house and started to carry it away. Ah! Our house is being carried away by the tornado! Toto, hold on to me tightly! The house was carried miles and miles away and then fell far away from Kansas. The house fell into a very magical and mysterious place. There were many colorful and shining lights. Dorothy came out of the house and the beautiful Witch of the North walked toward her. Thank you very much, Dorothy. Your house fell on top of the Wicked Witch of the East and killed her. These are the Witch of the East's shoes. Please, take them with you as my present. But how can I go back to my home? Go and look for the Wizard of Oz in the Castle of Emeralds. He will help you. You just need to follow the Yellow Brick Road. Dorothy started her journey with Toto to the Castle of Emeralds. After a while, they met a scarecrow crying in the cornfield. Scarecrow? Why are you crying? <laughs> I have nothing but straw in my head. My head is empty and I have no brains. Even crows laugh at me. I wish I had brains. Why don't you come with me and ask the Wizard of Oz for brains? The Scarecrow decided to go and look for the Wizard of Oz with Dorothy. When Dorothy and the Scarecrow walked through the forest, they met a woodman made of tin. Help me, please! My entire body is rusty and I can't move at all. Dorothy and the Scarecrow put some oil on the Tin Woodman's body. Ah, I feel much better now. I wish I had a heart to express my thanks. Why don't you come with us and ask the Wizard of Oz for help? The Tin Woodman decided to go with Dorothy Scare the Scarecrow to get a heart. They were passing through the middle of the forest when a big lion turned up. Everybody was trembling in fear, but little Toto barked bravely at the lion. Go away! Don't bark at me like that! You frightened me! Dorothy looked at the frightened, cowardly lion with tears in his eyes, and she felt like laughing. You're afraid of this little puppy? This is just a little dog. What kind of lion is so cowardly? You're right. I'm a crybaby, and I am a coward. I wish I had courage. Then I would be brave like other lions. Then, why don't you go ask the Wizards for courage? Now Dorothy, the Scarecrow, 
the Tin Woodman, and the Cowardly Lion all decided to go and look for the Wizard of Oz. Dorothy and her friends walked along the yellow brick road and came to a very deep valley. How can we cross this deep valley? Um, uh, how about we chop down a tree and use it as a bridge? That's a good idea. I'll chop down a tree with my axe. While the Tin Woodman was chopping down a tree, a horrible monster appeared before them. The monster blew fire out of its mouth. The cowardly lion called out bravely to his friends. Run! Run away! Let me fight the monster! Lion! Fight the monster bravely! Hooray! While the cowardly lion was fighting bravely against the monster, the other friends made a bridge with a tree and crossed over the valley. Finally, the cowardly lion quickly crossed over the bridge. And then very quickly, the tin woodman pushed the bridge off the cliff and into the valley. The monster was trying to walk across the bridge and fell off into the deep valley. Hooray! Hooray! We defeated the monster! It's all thanks to the Scarecrow's brains. We couldn't have made it without the Cowardly Lion's courage. <sighs> I'm still trembling. I thought I was going to be eaten by the monster. Right then, Dorothy pointed to the other side of the road and shouted. Look over there! It's the Castle of Emeralds! At last, Dorothy and her friends arrived at the Castle of Emeralds. Dorothy and her friends walked into the Wizard of Oz's room, and they found nothing but a big head. The head moved its big mouth and said, I am the Wizard of Oz. Why have you looked for me? Dorothy and her friends asked the Wizard of Oz to grant their wishes. Okay, I'll grant all your wishes, but only if you go and defeat the Wicked Witch of the West. Therefore, Dorothy and her friends had to start another journey to look for the Witch of the West. Dorothy and her friends were walking into the forest of the Witch of the West. Right then, a large group of monkeys with wings on their shoulders flew toward them from the other side of the sky. Run away! The Witch of the West sent those monkeys to destroy us! <laughs> The monkeys took all the straw out of the scarecrow's head. They broke the tin woodman's body in a second. Then they tied up the cowardly lion with a net and took Dorothy to the Witch of the West. The Witch of the West tried to take away from Dorothy the Witch of the East's green shoes. Give me those magical shoes right now! No! I won't! The Witch of the North gave me these as a present! Dorothy got very angry, picked up a bucket of water, and threw the water over the Witch of the West. No! No! Not the water! The Witch of the West got wet from head to toe and melted away to nothing. After the Witch of the West melted away, the Scarecrow's head and the Tin Woodman's body recovered. Coward, the Cowardly Lion got free from the net. Dorothy and her friends were very happy, and they returned to the Castle of Emeralds. We defeated the Witch of the West! Now, grant our wishes, please! But the Wizard of Oz didn't seem to want to grant their wishes. 
Oh, uh, oh, uh, well, it's not easy to grant all those wishes, you know. Dorothy and her friends were so disappointed and just stood there in disbelief. Then, Toto ran to the curtain behind the big head and pulled it down with his mouth. There was an old man with a very small body standing behind the curtain. What? You are not a wizard! Uh, I'm an inventor. I invented this big, magical head. Dorothy and her friends now believed that there was no way to fulfill their wishes. They were so unhappy. But the old man did grant all their wishes. He gave the scarecrow brains made of sawdust, gave the tin woodman a heart made of cloth, and gave the cowardly lion a medal for bravery. Wow, I now have brains. I can't believe I have a heart. Now I can have feelings. I will be a very brave lion from now on. Dorothy, I'll give you a big balloon, and you can return home by riding in the balloon. With Toto in her arms, Dorothy got into the basket, which was attached to the balloon. But when the balloon was just about to lift off from the ground, Toto jumped out of the basket. Toto, come back here! Dorothy jumped out of the basket and ran after Toto. The balloon then rose into the air and flew away without Dorothy and Toto. I will never be able to go back home! What can I do? <laughs> Dorothy was crying very loudly when the Witch of the South with beautiful flowers all over her body, showed up. Don't cry, Dorothy. The shoes you are wearing now are magical shoes. Tap your shoes against each other three times and then make your wish. Dorothy said goodbye to everybody and then tapped her shoes three times. As quick as a wink, Dorothy and Toto returned home. Like magic, the house, which was carried away by the tornado, had already come back. Dorothy, where have you been? I met the Wizard of Oz. What? Oz? Aunt Em and Uncle Henry couldn't understand what Dorothy was talking about. But they were so happy to have Dorothy back home. I'm very happy to see that the Scarecrow, the Tin Woodman, and the Cowardly Lion all got what they had wished for. Dorothy will never forget those friends.